So today what I want to talk to you about is Star Wars. Okay, but I want to talk to you about a scene that was in Star Wars. Okay, from a gentleman by the name of Yoda. See, Yoda was a philosopher. Okay, <laughs> well, he might as well have been at least. Um, but one of my favorite lines in the Star Wars franchise came from Yoda. He said, do or do not. There is no try. Let me say that again, man. You know it. You know, you've heard it before. Do or do not. There is no try. I freaking love that statement. Let's talk about it. Welcome to another episode of Career Strategies. My name is Rodney Hughes, Mr. 100%. Today's podcast is being brought to you by Interview Prep University. It is a 100% free virtual training platform that's designed to do one thing and one thing only, and that's help you by teaching you strategies that can help you exponentially improve your odds of having great success in the job interview process. If you'd like to take advantage of this free resource, head on over to www.interviewprepuniversity.com. Again, that's www.interviewprep university.com if this is your first time joining us on the podcast thank you and welcome <laughs> okay uh make sure you do me a favor like comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and dive into this topic so again we're talking about star wars and we're talking about specifically yoda and a quote from the star wars movie where he says do or do not there is no try this is such a profound statement okay I don't even know if they necessarily intended for people to actually uh, use this as kind of like an inspirational quote uh, for the rest of their lives I'm not sure I, I can't imagine that they knew that when they wrote this into the script that oh yeah this is something people will be talking about for years and years to come but what I will say is this, that is a very true statement. That is a statement that I constantly kind of remind myself of, okay? And the reason why I remind myself of it is because like, as you're going through, through life, okay? Let's start with life first and then we'll take it to the career. But as you're going through life, there's a lot of uncertainty about life, right? When you go to sleep, there's a little bit of uncertainty of whether you'll get up. I mean, we believe that we'll get up, you know, and, and, and by my belief, it's by the grace of God that I'm able to get up, right? But there's uncertainty there, okay? Um, and, and, and so going through life, as you mature, as you become more wise about things, you start to realize how many things are very uncertain. There's a lot of uncertainty as you go through life okay and i think that part of you tapping into your potential is becoming clear and becoming more certain about who you are that's why i love that quote know thyself okay but i think the beautiful thing about this movie star wars and that this particular quote from yoda is that it forces you to take personal responsibility and it forces you to take action, right? That's what this quote is all about. It is all about action. Do or do not. There is no try. You know, one of the things I've had to jump on myself about, and I have to kind of catch myself when, I, when I'm doing this, is... I'm trying to work the word try out of my vocabulary. And the reason why I'm trying to wipe it out of my vocabulary is because it's a weak word in my opinion. Try. I'm going to I'm going to try to do this, right? I'm going to try to do that. Okay? 
when, when, when I think of that word, I just think that you're starting off from a weak perspective, If at least for me, okay? I can't speak for you, I'm just, this is my opinion, okay? And just based on me going through life, anytime that I've said I'm gonna try to do something, um, it, it, I was never 100% vested, okay? So I think that the word try is, what, what makes that such a weak word is that it lacks commitment, okay? It's almost like before you even get started, you're giving the option of failure, okay? So what I believe in is do or do not, right? See, it, it, that simplifies things, okay? You're either gonna do it or you're not gonna do it, but there is no try. And so, but but I always believe in starting with myself first. And, and, and listen, I understand, because listen, we have been programmed to anticipate uncertainty, right? Since the time we were little kids, and as you started growing up, you started realizing how many things are really uncertain, right? There's a girl or there's a guy you like and you want to go ask him out. You, I mean, you, you, as confident as you may be, you don't know if that person likes you as much as you like them, right? There's uncertainty, okay? And uncertainty is what it is. But have you ever heard that expression, fortune favors the bold? I don't know who came up with that quote, okay? I just heard it before fortune favors the bold and so one of the things i personally strive for is i i personally strive to be bold in my actions i personally strive to be bold in my thought process because thought precedes action so if i'm starting from a a, a posture of weak aka try then I reduce the odds that I'll even take action. You see how that works? And we live in a world of cause and effect, right? In order for there to be an effect, there must be a cause, <laughs> okay? In order for there to be a cause, there must be action, right? Action is what creates the cause and the cause is what creates the effect. Okay. And approaching action with a mindset of try, which to take that a step further, uh, uh, your mentality is what causes action, right? Thought process is what causes action. You think you act that causes, and then there's effect an effect. Okay, and this is why it's so important to try to wipe that word try out of your vocabulary, right? You either need to do it or not do it. And that's especially true when it comes to your career, when it comes to you striving for success in your career, you have to have an action oriented mindset. You have to have a mindset of, I'm either gonna do this or I'm not gonna do this, period. It needs to be that cut and dry. And if you're going to do it, you need to go, you need to commit 100%. Just do it and do it fast and do it, uh, do it with speed, right? Do it, do it swiftly, right? That's what you gotta do. Do it or not do it, okay? Because what that will do is that will speed up the process of you accomplishing the goals that you want to accomplish. Because what the, the beautiful thing about action is that it allows you, it that's action is what speeds up your learning curve, right? See, if you take enough action in a short period of time, you'll speed up the success that you desire because through action you'll get enough effects coming your way 
right? Because you've caused enough th situations, you'll get enough effects coming your way that you'll be able to notice, okay, well, when I do this, this doesn't work. But when I do that, that does work. And you'll slowly start to improve your skill over time as you take action. But again, if you're starting with a, a weak mentality and saying that you will try, then you're starting from a position of weakness. Okay. So once again, shout out to my little friend, Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. Now, let me ask you a question. What, what if I could teach you a step-by-step -step system that can help you exponentially improve your odds of finding and landing the job of your dreams? And what if I could show you how to do that absolutely free? Would you be interested in learning that step-by-step -step system? Well, if the answer is yes, then I, I want you, I want you to, I want to do you a favor. Okay. I want to give you a free copy of my book, the ugly truth about getting hired, how to land a job of your dreams, regardless of the competition in this book is two is two parts to this book. In the first part of this book is all about getting your mindset, right? Right? Cause it, again, thought precedes action. So if you don't have the right type of thought process, you'll never end up taking the necessary actions. So the first half of this book is all about what's the right type of concept. Well, what's the right type of mindset that's going to help you effectively. That's the key word there. Effectively maneuver the job interview process. And then the second half of the book is me literally showing you a step-by-step -step system that you can utilize to, if, to, to exponentially improve your odds of having success at every single phase of the interview process. Okay. It's a very quick read and there is no fluff in this book. Okay. It is hard hitting straight out the gate. You could probably be done reading this within three to five hours. Okay. If you'd like to get a free copy of this book, head on over to my website while I'm still making this available. And that's www.theuglytruthbook.com. www.theuglytruthbook.com. All right. Listen, thanks for checking out the podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.